What's up guys, Justin here with another poorly reviewed beer. Now I enjoy a good Monty Python reference as much as anybody, and so today we're trying Your Father Smelt of Elderberries. Now, as you can see, at the top of the bottle it says Stone Stochasticity Project. It's a special series of beers by Stone. I'm going to read a little bit about that series and a little bit about this bottle itself right now. Stochasticity. There is no happenstance or coincidence. Dumb luck is a fallacy and randomness, a commonly accepted mistruth. Much of what seemingly falls into place, yet seems so natural, is the result of stochasticity, a concept embraced and exalted by this special and unpre unpredictable series of beers, where exotic notions, ingredients, and ideas coalesce at an interesting and often unexpected endpoint. Now about the beer itself, Getting Medieval on a Long-Forgotten Beer from Times Long Gone. Stochasticity Project Beers Bravely Explore, explore Lesser Trod Territory. Imagine, if you will, emerging from the furthest depths of the dark, misty forest of time, holding a chalice, perhaps one of catholically divine caliber, filled with an ale style dating back to medieval England. We find ourselves, we find ourselves carried by the gate of hooves, which oddly sound like someone is clacking together two empty coconut husks, and happen upon a castle siege. Insults are being hurled from the walls above from Frenchmen. Time to run away after one last whack at the mighty stone castle walls with a broadsword to discuss a strategy just beyond the reach of catapulted bovines. Beer brewed with elderberries is freely shared. What strategies come from this? Trojan Rabbit. A brilliant ruse they're sure to catapult. Word to the wise, Sir Bedivere, don't strategize whilst drinking elderberry beer, or the constables may show up at the end of your flick. Uh, malt varieties used, two row pale, mild ale, amber, peated, and flaked oats. Hop varieties, English goldings, and target. And of course, the special ingredient, elderberries. Uh, this beer clocks in at 10.3% ABV and 50 IBUs. So let's check out this beer, which is officially labeled as a medieval style ale brewed with elderberries. Uh, pours a, I call it kind of a brown iced tea color. A uh, little bit of haze, but um, yeah, a little bit of haze. Not too, too much though. Take a sip. Mild blend at the start of uh, booze and some fruity sweetness from those berries. Uh, the booze is, of course, not a big surprise, clocking in at 10.3% alcohol. And I am certainly not used to drinking stuff that's normally that high in ABV. Yeah, and the alcohol is kicking up a little bit as it's warmed as well. I'm also getting some multi hints, uh, smokiness throughout as well. That smokiness is lingering into the aftertaste a bit as well. There's also some sweetness on the aftertaste as well. Probably linking with the, the sweetness and the smokiness. I'm getting a little bit of a, a caramel or a toffee note, some kind of cooked sugar note that um, I'm getting just as a very slight hit. I think it's just kind of all the uh, flavor notes blending together. And of course, again, with the high, the high alcohol content, uh, that booze lingers quite a bit. Um, but it's a very interesting ale and a really neat drinking experience. You can find all of our reviews, both written and video, at poorlyreviewedbeer.com. Also, check out PRB on Twitter and Facebook. All those links will be in the description below. That's it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. See you next time.